Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Microsoft Clarity to Shopify. We'll cover setting up a Clarity account, then connecting it to Shopify, how to add team members, blocking IP addresses to ensure that your team's actions aren't tracked. And finally, we'll connect Clarity to Google Analytics for even better tracking. There's time codes in the description. Let's go. So first up, you want to be signed into your Shopify store. So that's all ready to go. And then we want to go over to Microsoft Clarity. That's clarity.microsoft.com. And then you can either sign up for a free account if you don't have one, or we can sign in if you do have an account. And just confirm if you're signing up. And where it says name, set the name of your project. I'm just going to call it the name of my website, just so it's easy. Then enter your website URL. And then select an industry. And then go add new project. And then we want to install on a third party platform. And then we're looking for Shopify. And this is the code we want to copy. It has got instruction guides on where to put this further down the page. You can read here if you're not sure, but I'm going to go through that with you right now. So we want to go into our Shopify page, go to online store, and then we want to go to themes. And then we're going to go into edit code. It should be the same on any theme that you're doing this on. And then we're looking for theme liquid, which is here. And then we're looking for the head tag, which is this bit here, which starts there. So what you can do if you're on a PC, control F or command F on a Mac. And then we're just going to search for this term, forward slash head, press next. And there we can see there's the end of our tag. So we need to put our script in before this. So I'm just going to press enter on here to move it down a few lines. And then I'm going to paste in our code, paste in our code in here. And then I'm going to press save. You can see the script. This is what we've added above the end of the head tag, and it matches what we've got here. We want to exit our code here, and then we want to go down into settings. So in settings, we go to checkout, and then we're going to scroll down, and we're looking for the additional field scripts, which is this one, and then we're going to paste in the script here. Press save. So if you're on a normal Shopify account, then that's it. That's all you need to do. If you do happen to be on Shopify Plus, there are a few additional steps that you need to do. So please read from this step on. It's got a few more things Shopify Plus guys need to do, but it tells you in the guide, Microsoft Clarity is now installed. You can go into Microsoft Clarity and to see the heat maps, you can go into your project. I've only got the one in here. I'll click on this, but bear in mind, it's the first time we've set it up. So it may take up to two hours before anything happens. So don't worry if nothing happens, that's all normal. Let's go into DaVinci Resolve titles, watch now. And now there's one where I've set up a demo. So we can see if I click on this, we'll skip to this point here, where the little arrows start. There we can see the user's browsing through where the mouse is going, they're going to add to cart. And then we can see they go to the cart page so we can see it's working now. If you need to add team members, we can just go up to the settings cog, then go over to team on the left hand side, and then you can add a new team member, fill in their email and then set the role, and then just press add. If you wanna block team members from being recorded, we can go into settings, IP blocking. You can go to what is my IP address, click on here, and it will give you an IP address, which will be the one you're using. So just copy this link and in the field, you can put who it is, block my current IP. So it will detect it automatically, or you can paste it in manually if you know what it is and then just press add. So it will no longer track admin. Now that Clarity set up, we're going to make it even better by connecting Google Analytics. This allows you to see your Google Analytics dashboard in Clarity and make better decisions about your site. If you go to My Projects, click on the website that you want, and then we go over to Settings, and then on the left-hand side, go to Setup, and here we go, we can integrate Google Analytics. Press Get Started, choose your Google account that the site is registered to, and then just go Select All, Then press continue. If you have several sites on your Google Analytics, just do a search in here. Select your site from the GA4, press save. 
And there you go. It's now connected to Google Analytics. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment below, smash that subscribe button and hit that like. And if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice. And thanks for watching.